we have n is being defined as sum of factorials of odd numbers. Mind one thing, sum of factorials of odd number, we have factorial 1 plus factorial 3 plus factorial 5 plus factorial 7 up till 99 factorial, then the remainder when n is divided by 24 and have to be divided by 24. Now, we see 4 factorial is basically 4 factorial is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 which is equal to 24. So, 4 factorial is basically equal to 24 any number any factorial beyond factorial 4 will be a multiple of 24 because if we say 5 factorial it is going to be 5 into factorial 4 and factorial 4 is already 24. So, 5 factorial is 24 into 5 value is 120 which is not required factorial 5 is a multiple of 24 factorial 5 is a multiple of 24 and factorial 6 will be 6 into 5 into factorial 4 which is 720 the value is not at all required this is a multiple of 24 4 factor already there and similarly 7 factorial or any other factorial is going to be a multiple of 24 which is beyond factorial 4 factorial 4 onwards every factorial is going to be a multiple of 24 factorial 7 is 7 into 6 into 5 into factorial 4 the value is 5040 which is not required value is 5040 which is not required it is a multiple of 4 it is a multiple of 24 7 factorial contains 4 factorial in it it is a multiple of 24 6 factorial contains 4 factorial which is a multiple of 24 and 5 factorial also contains 4 factorial which is a multiple of so every number beyond factorial 4 factorial 4 itself and beyond factorial 4 every number is a multiple of 24. So, beyond it every number is going to be divisible by 24. So, all of them when divided by 24 the remainder will be 0 because once factorial 4 is a multiple of 24 every number beyond every factorial beyond 4 factorial is going to be a multiple of 24. So, we will get remainder only from first 2 factorials if we add them we know factorial 1 is simply 1 and factorial 3 is simply 6 we add them it is going to be 7 and 7 divide by 24 the remainder will be 7 only that is why what we need to understand is in this question we have to look that 4 factorial and beyond every number is a multiple of 24 4 factorial is itself 24 any factorial beyond it is going to be a multiple of it. So, we need to add only initial 2 numbers which is 7 7 is the remainder. So, answer is option number A 